Zachary Horn with Clean Code Studio. Clean Code, Clean Life. Today, let's learn some PHP 7.4. So the next lesson in our PHP 7.4 tutorial, the next feature provided, are actually two new magic methods, which I actually I really like this one. Um, so this is probably the biggest feature that isn't shorthand functions or the uh, the spread operator kind of thing that's actually just unpacking a race. Um, it's two magic methods on a class called serialize and unserialize. And so to dive into this, I, I think it's better to just show it as an example. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take these two functions, we'll copy them, and then we'll create our person class again. And we'll do, let's do public int ID, public string, name, public function, construct, ID, int ID, string, name, just like that. We'll go down there. We'll do this ID equals ID, this name equals name, and la la. Okay, so here is the two additions we have. We have first the public function um, the new magic, ugh, the new magic method on a class serialize. Um, it returns an array containing all the necessary state of the object. Okay, so all this means is that one we have to return an array. So let's create this function, and we're going to do return, and then you should return all of the state of your class. All of the state meaning the properties, basically. So in this case, it's going to be ID equals this ID, and if we do um, name equals this name. And so that's what that should look like. You should create your magic serialized function like that. Next is we have to define our unserialized magic method. Now, the definition of this one is one, it is going to accept an array of data, two, it is going to return void. So if you notice, serialize is the getter and unserialize is really a setter. Um, and when we're talking about serialization, unserialization, we're really talking about getting data either from the front end or from a third party resource and serializing the data either into our class. So using the data, creating our class from the data or setting our class based on the data or getting the data as an array so we re can return to the front end. So, public function unserialized, which is our getter in this scenario, um, accepts an array of data. And it returns void, which means it returns nothing. So all we really want to do is we want to do this ID equals data ID, and then this um, name equals data, and then we're going to do name just like that and let me bring these up one line so we can see the rest of our page all right and so serialize we're setting unserialize we're getting simple as that or sorry I completely messed that up guys I apologize serialize is the getter unserialize is the setter Serialize is the getter, unserialize is the setter. Um, so if we make a new person, let's call her Maria. Maria equals new person, and then she's gonna be the person with an ID of one, and obviously in the name of Maria. So here's the problem we face, and here's the problem that serialize and unserialize solve. What if we do return Maria? What if we just wanna get the Maria person? Well, if we go back here to our page, we'll get an error. The response content must be a string or object implementing to string object given we cannot pass an object to the front end so what serialize solves is we can now do underscore underscore serialize and basically all it's saying is let's serialize our person our maria into an array so our front end can digest it without php airing out on us and there we go and you'll notice, this is the cool part, you'll notice that it automatically makes it an object, not an associative array, and that's because this is getting cast to JSON. Um, so 
that's step one. So step two is the unserialized. So what if we're getting, I don't know, we're getting something from the front end and let's do, oh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's do route, let's do request query. Um, and let's just do return request query. And we're gonna comment that out for now. And all we're gonna do now is we're gonna do create a request or a query parameter. We're gonna do name equals Maria and ID equals one. Boom. It's gonna do that for us. It's just like that. So it's gonna return the request query. So just to give you an idea or more in depth, if we kept adding to that to our request query and we did and um, email equals Maria at clean code.studio, it's gonna add all of those query parameters. What if we wanna make a person from that data? Well, instead of having to like manually create the new person and then set all that stuff, now we can just do Maria equals new person like that and then we can do Maria, and then we can do unserialize our request query, and then we can do return. All right, let's just do a dump Maria. Let's dump Maria. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And so all it's saying is let's take an array and unserialize that data to set that data on our person instance, on our Maria, we wanna set that data. So serialize and unserialize, all they're saying is let's serialize the data to pass it to the front end, let's unserialize the data to set our person object so we can use it within PHP. And so if you reload the page and we dump too few arguments, oh, it's requiring. So if we got rid of our constructor, um, and now we do this, person equals ID, name equals Maria. And because I dumped, you can actually dump a person to the front end, you just can't return, or sorry, you can dump an object to the front end, you can't return an object to the front end. Um, so that's what I just did there. So that actually is our person object. So serialize, serialize a object state serialize the state of an object to pass it to the front end or unserialize the data pass to the back end and set it on the person or on our instance so there are just two new magic methods in php 7.4 and they make it easy to set data on our user and to serialize data for the back end um, so guys that's the two new magic methods in php 7.4 serialize and unserialize and in a nutshell Separate